Uh, let's gonna, just start with the report card on where we are in, in ventilator supply in this country and what parts of the country they're going to. Well, first, we made a lot of progress since uh, we last talked. Um, we do make critical care ventilators, like, like I mentioned last time. And the response uh, from our team and from our partners has been simply uh, outstanding. Um, last time I was on the call, we talked about the rate of, uh, per week of uh, our manufacturing these ventilators. Today, we're at 300 a week, which is about uh, double what we had in January when this uh, uh, pandemic first started. Uh, by the end of April, we'll be at 400 a week. By May, we'll be at 700 a week. And then uh, by June, 1,000 a week. So great progress uh, in ramping up production. Uh, the way we're allocating this is uh, almost exclusively by clinical need. So uh, we are looking at disease models and trying to predict uh, where the greatest need is at any point in time. And we're shipping those uh, ventilators to that point, to that very place. Uh, price is not a factor at all. In fact, we've uh, put in place a fixed price, which is uh, lower than the prevailing price before the, uh, before the pandemic. And that's the same price that everybody pays and not a factor in our consideration. The main thing we're looking at is where the greatest clinical need is and looking at disease models. We look at that regularly and we're allocating in that way. Interesting. Is the, is the marginal capacity that's being added coming from legacy players like yourself? Is it from other types of manufacturers who are switching to this? Is it from other countries from whom we are importing or a combination of all of the above? Well, uh, first, the numbers that I gave you, the 1,000 a week by June, is actually our own factories. Our own factory in Ireland is going to ramp up to that pace within the next couple of months. Now, in addition to this, on top of this, uh, as you know, we put out uh, an open source initiative where we open sourced our design for our 560 uh, ventilator, and that has had tremendous response. We've had over 70,000 downloads, and there have been some major players uh, who have been engaged. Uh, amongst them is Foxconn, uh, who have a plant in Wisconsin, where we plan to make, together with them, uh, uh, ventilators uh, within the next uh, four to six weeks. Uh, that'll be in production in that time frame, and that's on top of the numbers that I just gave you. Uh, the exact numbers on those we don't know yet, but we will be rolling into production. Like I said, we're doing everything we can, working 24-7 with Foxconn uh, to bring this up to uh, uh, the factory in Wisconsin. Now, in addition to that, there are a few other partners um, outside the United States, uh, in Asia, uh, with whom we're also engaging. Uh, so this enables us to leverage uh, capacity and expertise, engineering expertise of major players who've got com complementary supply chain to really uh, improve and uh, further enhance our capability to, me to make ventilators, which, as you know, are a critical uh, resource uh, in this time around the world and, and certainly in the United States. Omar, it's Jim, always good to hear from you. Great. Nice talking to you, Jim. Omar, you're a person of great principle, and what you said was it's by need. Uh, if Italy needs them, where it was absolutely horrible, uh, Spain mm -hmm. needs them, where it's terrible, or United States needs them, which is horrible, you have to make decisions. Uh, do each of these leaders, which are very forceful and try and do the right thing for their countries, call you and say, listen, you're located in Ireland, but you know what? We, we need them more. We, what happens when... When President Trump says, you know what, we need them more than Italy, even though it's very clear that Italy is terrible. Well, first, you know, we've been working with FEMA on this, and uh, we're doing our very best uh, to move these ventilators to the places of the greatest need. And uh, everyone has been very receptive to that line of reasoning. Uh, right now, the need is in the United States. Uh, you know, as you all know, the situation in, in New York and in other states, and uh, we're prioritizing that by far. Uh, so, um, I, I, so far, the discussions we've, we've had have been very, uh, very good, and people have been supportive and uh, helped us in allocating to the right place. Uh, and we made it very clear that this is based on uh, clinical need. And uh, we've been very transparent about the models that we use and open to any uh, modification that they suggest. Omar, do you think uh, it's, so it, is, is it surprising uh, when we hear about the mortality rate, which is even on a ventilator is as high as 83 percent, are you surprised that yeah. ventilators are such a hot button, given the fact that most of the people who are on ventilators die? No, I mean, look, uh, these ventilators, especially our high-end uh, 980 ventilator, is a very sophisticated device. And uh, the chances of uh, survival with that uh, are probably as high as you can get 
in this sort of critical situation. So we expect the medical community to pull every asset uh, that's available to save every life. Every single life matters. It matters to us. It matters to, to everyone. And these products have been designed uh, with a great deal of precision, uh, with uh, uh, lots of automatic control, with uh, very uh, specific uh, algorithms that are matched to patients. And I think uh, it is our responsibility to make sure we can do everything we can to save every single life out there in any way that we can. So I'm not at all surprised that there's a demand for these ventilators. And uh, we're uh, doing everything we can to meet this unprecedented challenge. Uh, our teams are working in, a, in an unprecedented way. Partners are mobilizing together with us, uh, crossing uh, company boundaries, crossing country boundaries. And so, uh, you know, we're doing everything we can to save lives out here. And I'm not at all surprised that the need for ventilators is at that level, given the current situation.